Where are we going? We're going to Victoria. Say, this is the second episode of our Hungry Birds. Since Dylan doesn't want to introduce himself, this is the second episode of our food review. I thought that was someone. Okay. It was just the, the paper towels. Okay. Um, of the Hungry Birds. And we are going to review what to eat and what to not eat in Victoria. Scene five, take two. Action. When we got here, there was actually only one place open, maybe because it's February and it's still too cold. I don't know. But the fish store was our only option here, and honestly, I didn't mind. The vibes were nice, all outdoors, but I don't remember seeing any heaters, so it was a bit cold. I got the three-way salmon chowder, and while we waited, we had these buzzers, so we played hot potato. Dylan got the wild sockeye salmon fish and chips. It was so good, and the coleslaw balanced everything perfectly. There's corn. It's good. It's fishy. Service was great, but the only note I have is personal. I get a lot of motion sickness, so I had to leave after a bit because I started getting really dizzy eating on the dock side. Otherwise, I would definitely come here again for the summer, and I'm sure a lot of tourists already do. Did you enjoy the food we just had? What would you rate your fish and chips and soup? Uh, fish. So, so good actually. Nice. Our reviews will be determined on three factors, vibes, service, and taste. All rated out of 10 and if deserving, a potential to win the ultimate chicken award. Basically meaning that you should just drop your things and go eat there right now. You're not my babies. Now we're gonna go review our dinner. Dylan, tell them where we're going. Uh, we're going to Nautical. Nautical Nellie's! <laughs> Before coming to Victoria, I knew I wanted to eat at a seafood steakhouse because I love lobster tail. Not the whole lobster, I just like the tail. It was nice walking around downtown and vibes were fine dining. Service was all right, but overall the place felt kind of low energy. Personally, that's just my opinion, but as promised, lobster tail, it was pretty good actually. I really liked how they cooked the green beans because usually I don't eat those, but these were great. Dylan had the West Coast paella, which came in this huge pan. I don't know if that was a choice, but okay. After dinner, I looked for dessert, but everything was closed. Not loving Victoria for this, but okay. The next morning, we stopped at Joie French Cafe, and I think we met the owner's wife, but whoever served us was very friendly. And although the place is a bit expensive, in my opinion, Victoria doesn't have many crepe cafes, and I had a craving. This ladybird mocktail was the star for me. So good. And if you go, I'd recommend their brunch because it looked amazing. Check their Instagram for proof. Just too bad we didn't get to try. Anyways, we went home after that and I always forget to outro so thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and follow us on our Instagram. We will be back reviewing a lot more places.